If you are a fan of Art Deco, but you don't have the funds to do an entire makeover, in this video I'm going to be talking about budget-friendly ways to make your space feel Art Deco without doing an entire makeover. I also have a video doing an entire Art Deco kitchen makeover. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link here and down there. Now before we talk about the ideas, let's talk about Art Deco. I'm going to assume most people that click on this video searched for it so they know what it is, but on the off chance you don't, here's just a little breakdown of this interior design. So Art Deco interior design was a major aesthetic movement that took place in the 1920s. Art Deco was characterized by rich colors, bold geometry, and decadent detail work. This style brought in glamour, luxury, symmetrical designs, exuberant shapes, geometric shapes, stylized curves, and atmospheric lighting. A modern place you might see the Art Deco style today is usually a movie theater or even some older buildings. If you know what to look for, you will start seeing it everywhere it's so much fun but now that you know what art deco is let's jump into the budget friendly ideas the first idea is to get stained glass window decals stained glass windows were very popular from the 20s to the 50s so bringing in that part of history into your home is really cool it's unique every time i go into a home that has a stained glass window i know that that window is old because it's not something that you see today in modern homes therefore i had to put this one first because i think it makes such a big difference and depending on whether the window you choose to put it on gets good lighting it could reflect some beautiful color into your home there are many designs that i found all over Amazon with these different decals but the one that I would go for is one that has some geometric shapes to kind of represent art deco there is a DIY way to do this but I did see someone do this DIY in a video and I thought it was such a good idea I'll put the video here and you can check it out for yourself to see if it's something you might want to do but seeing how inexpensive the decals are on their own I feel like it's just the better way to go The second idea is to make a DIY accent wall. This is something I did in my kitchen and it cost me only $8. I made an entire video dedicated to that. If you wanna check it out here, you totally can. And I go step-by-step -step through the process of how I went about doing that. But it just consisted of me cutting out a stencil and using a gold Sharpie on a wall to create a scallop design, which is very reminiscent of the Art Deco era. Now, if you're doing it on your own, the fun thing is you can make it whatever you want. You can do whatever design you want. If you don't want to paint your walls prior to doing this and you just want to do it on the color you have now and you have a lighter color wall you can use a black sharpie you can use a colored sharpie it's totally up to you I'm so happy I discovered this DIY because it's a much faster process than trying to do peel and stick wallpaper and it's way cheaper but speaking of peel and stick wallpaper I did want to put that on the list as well but I specifically wanted to talk about applying it to your ceiling because if we're doing an accent wall, we're talking about, you know, just a wall feature. But I wanted to talk about a ceiling feature too, because if you don't do an accent wall, if you don't do anything else on this list, adding wallpaper to your ceiling can also transform a space in a really big way. Especially when it comes to the Art Deco style, you would always see something that was very above and beyond to make the space feel more opulent and luxurious, and adding wallpaper to your ceiling is one of those features. Now, wallpaper can be pretty pricey, so it might not be something you wanna do, but I did want to add it to the list in case you had a little room in your budget. So you can get peel and stick wallpaper anywhere from $12 to around 200 and fifty dollars it really just depends where you shop for the wallpaper and how extravagant you want the wallpaper to be you could also get ceiling tiles too they make them in foam it's again not super inexpensive but still affordable and that is also something that you would see within the art deco interior design now i found some that were kind of affordable they were nine dollars for five tiles so depending on the size of your space you could potentially do it for less than 100 bucks which is great now the next one is super easy and this is just to change out your lampshades so i'm not saying go out and buy an entire new lamp no 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 no, no. the good thing about lamps is that you can change out the lampshades anytime to fit the environment it's currently in like if you decide you want to change out your decor or make your room feel a little more modern you can do that with a lampshade just simply change it out to something more modern i recommend checking out first dibs this is where i look when I'm looking for anything that is historically accurate because they sell certified vintage pieces. And if you're ever curious to find out if a piece of furniture you have is from a certain decade, this would be the place to find it. So I recommend going on first dibs and looking up 1920s lampshades to actually see what they have and what you could find that's similar. What I found on that website was fringe lampshades, 
seemed to be very popular, and that's something you can find today, and you could also DIY that as well. Another lampshade you could go with is just a modern looking lampshade because that was also something that you would see during that era. That's something you could easily find today that's inexpensive. Another idea I had was to use globes. So if you had a chandelier, for instance, you could buy singular globes and put them over each light and that would really reflect the 1920s or if you wanted to put a globe over just a singular lamp that you have that would even look cool something that you will commonly see when you look up 1920s anything you will see the world's fair which has a woman that's standing on top of a globe. I think I read once the World's Fair kind of launched this interior design style, but I'm, don't quote me on that. And when you look at the interior design, you will also see there's been these lamps that have been created with the woman holding the globe. So that globe light fixture is something that's just very unique and fitting. The next thing you can start doing is by adding in some gold or silver accents. Now, if you don't want to go out and buy stuff that's new, no problem. Something I really like to do is I like to just buy gold spray paint along with a sealant and I will just spray certain things around my home to give it a gold accent instead of buying an entirely new item. It's an inexpensive way to start making all of your accent colors cohesive. You can also get new by taking your time to thrift your items or just outsource items that are inexpensive. The next idea is just to simply paint your room a more bold, rich color. So in the 1920s, you would see emerald, navy, a dark purple, burgundy, black. And then you would see all those accent colors come into play to kind of really bring it to life and make it feel more opulent. The next thing you can do is to replace your artwork with some art deco artwork. You can look for some prohibition posters. They look so cool. There is definitely a specific style when you start to look at these and you start to look at the art during that time. It is very specific. You'll see flapper girls. You'll see people smoking cigars and cigarettes and drinking alcohol. Alcohol was very popular. Yeah, it's very distinct. and. You know when you see an art deco poster or art deco art because it's so distinct to that time. So changing out artwork in your home, it's an inexpensive thing that you can do that definitely lets people know exactly what you're into. This is an easy one. You can get a starburst mirror. So I personally, DIY'd some Starburst mirrors that I got from the 99 cent store, or sorry, it was a Dollar General, but you get the point. And I just spray painted it gold. It fits perfectly in my kitchen, but it fits perfectly for the 1920s. But you don't have to do the DIY. But I did wanna throw it out there that you can find these mirrors for a very inexpensive price of $1. It's also a really good focal point in a room over a console table, over a fireplace and mantle, over a headboard in a bedroom. So if you started to incorporate the other ideas I mentioned and you had that sunburst mirror, it's the perfect decor item to add to a space. Another really cool one is you can buy these geometric stencils so you can stencil the shapes on to your wall above your door frame or the corners of your door frame, pretty much anywhere that you desire. And these designs are perfect because they are symmetrical, they are geometric. It's something that you would see in that era and having a stencil makes it incredibly easy for you to do you could also just do it yourself freehand i find that to be very difficult if you're trying to get something symmetrical so i recommend you know just spending the money to get a stencil because it will be much easier and we want to work smart not hard another easy one is instead of having flowers in a vase put feathers in a vase in my kitchen when i was redoing it originally i was like i'm gonna buy flowers to display but the fact that i have feathers it makes the entire room make more sense I also think it's just really cool and unique because it's not something you'll see often anymore, but I love the way that it looks. It's very fitting. And guess what? Flowers die, but feathers don't. So you can keep them up all year and they're gonna look the same, it's great. And the last idea on this list is to just start collecting vintage items. You can go out and you can get items that are specifically made around that time, but the thing is, if you are in a home at that time, right? You're going to see pieces of furniture from every decade prior. In today's day and age, it's very rare that you will come across a home 
um, at least in California, that has vintage furniture. People just, they gut everything and they just buy furniture sets where everything looks exactly the same, nothing's unique anymore. But when it comes to like older homes, you're going to see pieces of furniture from every decade. So even if it's not just specifically from the 20s, if it's any time before, it would still make sense in a home that is 1920s. I know now I see a lot of very modern Art Deco rooms and it does kind of work because Art Deco is a little bit modern, but if you have some vintage pieces in there too, it does make it feel a bit more authentic instead of going out and getting everything that looks exactly the same because to me, that just feels very unrealistic. That is everything on my list. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully, you know, it gave you some ideas that you didn't think of before. But of course, if you have any ideas, please comment them below because we're all here for the same reason and you know, I can't do it all. Well, that is it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in the next one.